I've marked out on the inside of the soundboard where I want all the braces to go. This is going to be, I guess I'd call it a hybrid or a cross between standard X bracing and forward shifted X bracing. Um, the, the forward shifted bracing, the X actually crosses an inch from the sound hole and in at least Martin terms, standard bracing, it was an inch and a half. So I'm going to have mine at an inch and a quarter because I really couldn't decide exactly where I wanted it. I mean, there are pros and cons to both the, the forward shifted and the standard. I've got all this brace wood cut up. A um, piece of maple is going to be the bridge plate. And then this is all red spruce. I, I still have to trim it to length and that sort of thing. But um, I'll start off by gluing down all of the flat pieces, like the bridge plate and the finger braces and the, the sound hole reinforcement. I'm going to use hide glue with everything just because I'm actually still trying to figure out if Hide glue makes a difference. I've built three or four guitars now where I did hide glue and they seem very nice and have a, a really very good sound, but I don't know if it's the glue or just where I'm at with my building. So I'm kind of on a, an exploration to see if, if I can get a sense of whether hide glue is making a difference to the instruments. After I get all of the flat braces glued to the top, it's time to do the, the X and the lower uh, diagonal braces. The ones I think of as the main structural braces below the sound hole. Um, they are all going to have a curved gluing surface so that when they're glued onto the soundboard, it has a natural curve to it. So in order to achieve that in a predictable way, I have this little fixture that I made a long time ago and they have probably used it on, oh, I don't know, 150 steel string guitars. Um, it has a, a curve to it, which you can see if I, if I hold a, just a brace blank up to it, you see how the brace rocks back and forth along this curved edge. So what I will do with each of these structural braces is clamp them to this fixture and then route along this surface and what I wind up with is a gluing surface for the brace that exactly mimics the curvature of the fixture. I'm going to start with these two lower transverse braces. I've, well, of course you, you saw me cutting the, the radius on the gluing surface, um, but I've also roughly contoured, uh, where did it go, <laughs> contoured the, the brace to its, its uh, cross section that I know I'm going to want. It's just easier to do it before it gets glued on. I'll do the refinement once it's in place. this flexible ball underneath to help distribute the clamping pressure.
So I've got a pretty good idea of how I want these lower braces to be scalloped and that is based on a plan that I got from uh, CAD Guitar Plans, I think it's called, which was developed after John Hall measured five pre-war Martin Dreadnoughts and he kind of took the average of the five, he tells me, and that's how he came up with the, uh, the bracing layout and scalloping. So that looks like a pretty good place to start. So I'm going to get these braces close to what's on that drawing, and then after I get the whole soundboard put together, I may make some modifications, but that'll at least get me in the park. Okay, that's good enough for now. As I said, once I get all the braces on, I will do some final adjustments. But that's all I needed to do on those two for now. thing to do is cut off the excess length so that the legs of the X brace will fit. I know at least at some point in the past Martin when they were making dreadnoughts uh, would actually notch out the the X brace where these other braces intersected and I'm sure that that added some measure of stability. Um, I've never done that and I'm not going to do it on this guitar either. My thinking is because if, if you actually notched out the X so that these braces were locked in and then something happened and this glue seam failed, it would be really difficult to to work any new glue under the brace or pull the brace out if it was still tucked in under the X brace. Um, and maybe I'm just rationalizing it because I don't want to go through all the work of notching out those braces. I don't know. But that's my thinking and so that's that's what I'm going to do on this guitar. So now those are good right there. All the braces are trimmed, so now it's time to notch out where the two legs of the X brace are going to cross. I wind up taking half of the height from the bottom of one and from the top of the other. So what I'm going to do here, put this one in position, and then lay the, uh, the other leg down between these four braces and the bridge plate. So now that's a 
allowing this one to sit in there. Um, so now this brace, I'm going to notch from the bottom side. So I have to mark where the pieces cross. There we go. Okay, now I can glue these two braces on. I'll shape them after they're glued.